on my trainer I have a 1000 ohm resistor that's going to be the load resistor and I'm going to have an RF generator and it's going to be putting out RF at 1 megahertz and also I'm going to be using the oscilloscope. The other components I'm going to be using is this 50 ohm resistor. Here you can see it reads 52 ohms. And an RF coil that I'm going to be using as an RF choke. And it reads only 39.1 ohms. I'm going to install that 50 ohm resistor like this and connect the oscilloscope to this point above the 50 ohm resistor to see what the signal looks like. Then I'm going to take out the 50 ohm resistor and install the coil, that 39 ohm coil, and take a look at the signal above the coil at this point. And then we can compare what those two signals look like. Okay, here's the first setup. Got a 1000 ohm resistor or load resistor. And here's our 50 ohm resistor. Now when I put the scope on it, we can see that there's not too much RF there. But what's actually happening is that it's being shorted out. So let's add this choke in here. which reads about 39 ohms. Okay. Okay. We have even less DC resistance, but as we can see, almost no RF is now being shorted out. We saw in the video a dramatic difference between having a resistor and an RF choke coil in the circuit. This is a AM transmitter that I built several years ago and I wanted to take a look at L2 that is a choke coil but first let's say that I didn't have that choke coil in the circuit what would happen is this we would have our DC power supplied to the plate of the 6L6 and our oscillator would be driving that tube but without that RF choke in there this is what would happen to the RF energy instead of going out on the antenna almost all of it would go into the power supply and get shorted out. Now let's put that RF choke back into the circuit. We'll still have our DC power going through that choke because it DC resistance is only 39 ohms. But now, the RF 
cannot go through that RF choke and get shorted out in the power supply. Now it will go out on the antenna where we want it. In the video we saw that the resistor in this circuit was shorting out the RF and when I put the choke coil in we had plenty of RF at the top of the coil and of course that is where we want it in a transmitter so this RF energy will go out on the antenna rather than being shorted out in the power supply. Thanks for watching.